If you ever wanted a personal assistant who doesn't go on holidays, never sleeps, and can help you with the boring tasks as a UX UI designer, then you might be in luck. As Figma introduced last week, a new AI feature that is available in Figma Jam and is promising to help us automate our boring design tasks. In other words, helping us to clean up this mess after every single workshop. <laughs> The first thing you'll notice when opening up Figma is that they introduced this new input field over here in the middle of the page that apparently allows you to ask your assistant to automatically generate any type of Figma board by simply typing in what you want. And when you're ready, just click on this one-of-a-kind magic button that doesn't look anything like the button that Framer is using to generate their AI layouts. And once you do that, Figma will generate the board for you. Now, unlike Framer's AI website generator, this Figma Jam wizardry seems to actually work. I played around with it and gave it a couple of tasks and I was surprised at how well it handled it. I started with simple tasks, similar to those that Figma suggested, like creating a brainstorming board or a one-on-one -on -one board, and it seemed to work well. And yes, you still need to adapt these to your own needs, but still, it will save you a lot of time getting everything set up before a user testing session or before a meeting. And I can see this not only being useful for us as designers, but potentially for project managers as well. Especially that they're jumping from meeting to meeting and they might need to create a quick gun chart or a Kanban board to convey their message or just show the plan to the team. Even these basic prompts can already start saving people a bit of time on these simple tasks. But then I started to try to push the boundaries a bit and started asking for more specific questions. What I wanted to see is how well this AI is handling tasks like sitemap generation or user flows. And what I saw is that our little AI assistant gets a bit confused. It feels like it doesn't quite understand what I mean when I say sitemap or user flow. But if I ask it to create a flowchart, then I get the results that I expect. So just like any AI tool out there, you will need to get a bit used to how to prompt your assistant the right way to get what you want out of it. And even though the results were not perfect, the overall structure was not that bad. I mean, yes, you definitely need to modify these afterwards and adapt them to your product, as you will not get amazing results straight away. But if you think about it, even if it generates a simple basic map that then you can take and adapt it to your product or your needs, it's still a huge time saver. And if you're already impressed with all of these new features that they introduced, trust me, you haven't seen the best part yet, which is, ticket sorting and summarizing. So here, as you can see, I have a very messy Figma Jamboard with a ton of tickets on it. And to be honest, this is the actual feedback from my user testing session back when I was working with booking. And as you can see, this is quite a mess. And that's because there were a lot of designers working on this and we were constantly putting tickets on this board. Each one of us were conducting their own user testing sessions. So. That's why it ended up being so messy. But to be honest, it's like if you worked in the industry, this is pretty much what you end up with anyway, regardless of how organized you are. So even after we were done with the note taking, we would spend like around a day or two just going through all of this data and try to make sense of it and try to extract information that we can actually use. But now I can do all of that organizing by simply clicking a button. So if I select all of these tickets over here, and if I go to this Figma Jam AI and click on sort stickies, you will see that Figma will automatically start to organize my tickets. I mean, this is freaking amazing. This simple feature can actually save me days in organizing and categorizing the feedback that I gathered from the user testing sessions. And yes, this is not perfect and the categorization is based on whatever the AI decides to categorize your tickets by. But the thing is, this simple thing can actually speed up your process of organizing these tickets tenfold. And where I think that Figma missed the mark the most is that they should have allowed us to select the tickets 
tickets and when we go here to Figma Jam and click on sort stickies, they should have allowed us to specify based on what criteria. For example, pain points or certain keywords. And I think that if they introduce that, then this feature will be an absolute killer. And just to conclude this, just to top everything up, what you can do is once you organize these tickets, you can go here into the AI and click on summarize. And this will automatically generate the summary for you where all of these tickets and all the feedback that you gathered will be summarized into something that you can share with your project manager, other designers and so on. Again, this is not perfect, but still you can summarize everything that is here in just a simple click, which is actually insane. And as you can see, if we zoom here, you'll see that these are not that bad. I mean, user appreciates having details information about the cars, including make and model. Some users would like to see more specific information, such as the actual vehicle price. So as you can see, this is actually a very good summary of what happened and what we discovered during our user testing sessions when we were doing this back at Booking. And again, even if it's not working perfectly, and if you still need to do some manual work, just the fact that you can have a second perspective on how this data can actually be categorized and organized is a huge plus on its own. It can give you a different lens on how you can interpret the data and the feedback that you gathered. And as a conclusion, yes, I know that for some people this might be scary, that the AI is slowly creeping in into our jobs and slowly taking our tasks one by one. And to be honest, I think they should be. It is scary and I'm scared as well. And I think everyone should be scared. But here's the thing. Personally, I don't believe that we can do anything to stop this. We can cry, complain, protest in front of parliament or governments, but this will not change absolutely anything. So the best thing we can do is to learn how to use these tools to make us smarter and more efficient and to help us become better designers. Because in my opinion, before we lose our jobs to an AI, we will lose the jobs to humans who know how to use AI. So stay sharp, keep learning, and I will see you in the next one.